2010 Mid-American uh, Football Conference uh, Preview, 2010 edition. Nick Taylor, what's going on? Oh, uh, not much, Dan. What's going on with you here? You're in a uh, golf tournament this afternoon. Yeah, live at the uh, Knoxville Open uh, at Fox Bend Country Club. Uh, featured golfers this week are uh, former major champions uh, John Daly and Rich Beam. I uh, just spoke to John Daly, so it's good stuff. Uh, we'll have some pictures and some footage up uh, after we do this uh, Mid-American uh, Football preview. Very good, very good. Sounds, sounds really good. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's get right to it. You know, I was big on Central Michigan last year, and there's one reason why, and he's gone. So I don't really see much reasoning putting stock in the Central Michigan uh, football squad this season. But I will tell you something. After talking to those Chicago Bears fans, uh, they're excited to... Uh, to have Dan Lefevre in a few years under Mike Marks at the OC, but getting back to the squads this year, I do like uh, I do like uh, uh, Northern Illinois and uh, Temple, and also Ohio is going to be pretty good. Yeah, I like uh, speaking of Ohio, uh, I like the Bobcats. Uh, I just uh, I just watched the game uh, last night, and uh, ended up going ended up going with Ohio because. I was real impressed with uh, what Frank Soyce did last year. Uh, he's got an athletic quarterback that understands uh, his new uh, offensive scheme that he put in at Ohio. He runs more of a spread now. Uh, obviously, the big game will be late in the year when, uh, when Ohio travels to Temple on November the 16th. And it's at Temple, so I guess on paper you got to give Temple the edge. But... I just like Frank Solis and what he's doing in Ohio, and I think with both like Northern Illinois and the other division, I'm going to take uh, Northern Illinois over Ohio in the back title game. Well, it's going to come down to that game, the Temple and the Northern Illinois game. Excuse me, Temple and uh, Ohio game. I do like Northern Illinois to win the West. Uh, I do see them losing to uh, Temple. I'm going to go with Temple all the way. Oh, the Temple Owls finally winning a championship. You know, uh, speaking of Temple, real quickly, it's interesting. They made the move to the MAC, you know, uh, a couple of years ago now. This will be the second year into it. it it's amazing how it really changed uh, their perception of the team. They were in the Big East when the Big East was at its top. A former UNA coach in North Alabama, Bobby Wallace, was there. He just couldn't win because back then the Big East was very tough. You had, you had Miami and Virginia Tech and Boston College and all those wall meter type teams. And now Temple's in a league where they're actually not only competitive but maybe the best. And I think the Mac has been good for Temple football from the aspect that, you know, Temple actually has some athletic tradition. And they're actually um, recruiting wise far superior to many Mac because of their location and the great education that they offer. Everything else, I mean, not to mention the Temple basketball program is, is obviously widely uh, widely known and highly regarded. So it's interesting what Temple has done with their football program, just you know, just changing conferences how quickly uh, they became competitive and how quickly they became good. Quite frankly. Uh, you know, uh, and I think it's been good for them. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Uh, Daly gave us a thumbs up. He likes the Sports Times Network uh, t-shirt. All right, all right. Good to, good to get an endorsement from a champion like John Daly. I tell you, uh, speaking of John Daly, side story, there was a time, and it may still be true, but there was a time where he could outdrive anybody on the PGA Tour. I mean, he used to have drives upwards of close to 400 yards. I mean, that guy is a pure talent. Hopefully, uh, his personal life will go well and he can get back to being the championship golfer that he, that he certainly used to be. So. Well, here, here's the sidekick. Projection for the Knoxville Open. Uh, how many strokes under par will John Daly be uh, after Sunday afternoon? Oh, my goodness. I would say probably... I'll give him my uh, 1,200, maybe... I'm going to go minus 16. Wow. Wow. I tell you, if he, if he does that, that's going to make headlines, even if it is, you know, the Knoxville Open. Minus 16 anywhere is a great, great score. So we'll have to, we'll have to keep an eye on our friend John Daly there and, and uh, see how he does this week.
Well, I'm going to get back to the 5 o'clock hour, Nick. All right. All right. Sounds good. And I appreciate the help on the Mac pre